Hi guys, it's Sebastian with Looking, Feeling, Smelling Great. I'm back with another video for you today. Today we're going to do first impressions of Signature Fragrances London. They sent me a samples kit and asked me to review them. And I said, sure, we'll do that. And this is what the samples look like right here. So if you stick around till the end also, you'll have a chance at winning one of these as they are offering a giveaway for one lucky winner in the USA. So please stay tuned. So Signature Fragrances London was founded by two friends, Solomon and Yinka. They were very passionate about perfumery and they actually decided to use their very, very strong passion uh, by introducing a range of fragrances that everybody would enjoy. So I don't know much about Signature Fragrances London. I don't have any places here in San Francisco that I would be able to go sniff them out. And on my travels, I have not experienced any of them myself, personally. So this is very, very brand new. I, I've never smelled any of them. And we're going to go ahead and do them completely blind. What I'll do is I'll just start from here and go all the way down here. So first off, we have one called Lola. Let's check this one out. Now Lola sounds like it could be for a woman, so I don't know if it is or not, but most definitely it, it's got to be a woman's fragrance. So let's see how that goes. Now these are kind of very thick oils, so I, I don't know if that's how they spray, but basically what I was sent are these little vials to test. So Lola seems definitely on the feminine side, but it, it does have this like thickness to it, this denseness to it. It's floral of some kind. I get like orange blossom perhaps. There's also something kind of warm and gooey, like perhaps honey or amber, something like that. It's quite nice. It's, I guess I would wear this. It's not one I would rush out to wear because it does have a feminine leaning to it, but it's pleasant. It's very floral. The white flowers, I guess are some, some white other, some other white flowers are kind of popping up right now. So it's definitely on the feminine side. So Lola is decent. I think this is one that I would give to a woman. Um, age probably would be perhaps, I don't know, anywhere from the 25 to the 60s. It is definitely quality, it smells like to me. It also smells like it's gonna be pretty potent. So Lola. So the next fragrance in the collection is called Odd Rush. I don't know what Odd Rush stands for, but we will find out in a little bit. Again, these are like very thick oils, so they're, pro they're definitely smell like they're gonna be really deep and heavy and potent. Odd Rush has this very vintage kind of vibe. It almost is very green, kind of out of the headache perhaps, with some fruity, fruitiness to it. And it's very, very green. It's got a deep and thick, woodsy green vibe. And as I said, very, very vintage-y. Kind of like, you know those fragrances, Chanel Number no. 5 and a Kalesh by Hermes and those fragrances? It has a kind of a inspiration from those two fragrances, but again, it's not those. So if you're thinking it's gonna be those, you're gonna dismiss it. Don't because it's, it just kind of has that inspiration and a hint at it, but this is kind of a unique take on it. It's, it's a lot more potent than the current formulations of Chanel Number no. 5, I think. It feels like it's that. But there's also this like very green vibe, the aldehydic, but also a very green herbal vibe to it. So uh, it's nice. It's for those folks that want that kind of a vintage vibe, but they want more potency and they want to kind of stand out and not wear another Chanel Number no. 5 or Kalesh or something. That's what I think this would be for. I think it's pretty, pretty. Uh, potent for what it is. It's definitely not a fragrance I would wear, but good quality stuff from my very first impressions here. So, Odd Rush is pretty good. The next one is Demure. Again, another one that sounds a little bit feminine to me, but we shall see. Also, these little sample vials are very, very tough to read, so I have to put my glasses on in order for me to see what's on. So, Demure has a very fresh vibe to it. Perhaps it's a bergamot type citrus at the top. And um, it has a kind of a clean musk, white musk with sort of a maybe like a maybe ambergris or something like that. But it has a kind of a very green rose, 
kind of reminds me of a fragrance I actually came up with when I took a couple of fragrance classes. I actually had oud in there, but I had a very green smelling uh, rose in there. So it kind of has a vibe of that fragrance, but this is a lot heavier, it's dense, and um, maybe it has a kind of a woodsiness too, like perhaps cedar or sandalwood. This is really cool. I think this is a bit masculine, but still kind of feminine leaning. But good. It's leafy green, vegetale, and uh, very clean. I think that musk is very clean in here. So denure is pretty nice. Okay, the next one is Woody Conjure. So this one sounds like it's going to be one that I would like. It's a woody scent, so we shall see. So far, most of these have been slight bit feminine leaning, with the very first two more feminine than the third one. But we'll see how Woody Conjure is. I'm having a hard time actually getting any of the fragrance off of here. Odd. Alright, there we go. Again, these are very oily. Alright, Woody Conjure is definitely woody. It's really, really rich and woody with a kind of a floral thing kind of trying to scream or trying to come out but the fact that it has so many woods in there I'm smelling cedar wood like really really nice cedar wood I like the cedar part about this I, I've always wanted to find a really true cedar scent but the cedar is definitely pretty dominant in here and um, there's definitely also sandalwood it's almost trying to like, it's almost like dusty woods but it's also kind of ambery kind of a dense and uh, thick, gooey kind of woods. So as far as the flowers go in here, it's something white, but I cannot make it up. Maybe it's, it's tuberose or... But it doesn't have a very tuberosey like vibe, but it's definitely kind of like a slight bit of creaminess because white flowers come off kind of creamy to me. So perhaps it's uh, iris or maybe, I don't know, lily or something. But I like this one. It's very woodsy. It's very, it's, it's masculine for sure, but it does have a, a slight bit of feminine edge to it with that flower. So I like Woody Conjure. All right, two more left. So this next one is Un Cherche. I think that's how you pronounce it in French. So um, I don't know what that means. I wish I knew. I'm trying to learn my French, but uh, again, this is a, a British house, so it's a French name for a fragrance. Un Cherche. And I hope that's how you pronounce it. These little vials are really complicated to use, unfortunately. Okay, so I've tested out every one except for one after this. And so far, this one's the one that's really screaming out at me. Un Cherche is probably the, the, the best one out of the, all the ones that I've smelled so far. It's a wood, it's maybe spices like cinnamon and cloves, and it's perhaps leather, but Totally, totally really like this one as far as uh, smelling it on the strip here. Yeah, it's definitely got like this, uh, like, you know the oud in oud wood? It's got that, but there's a lot more here. There's musk, there's amber of some kind. Um, there's a woodsiness, there's patchouli. Man, this one's really, really good. Un cherche. I really like this one. Kind of like a take oud wood and add a lot more to it, make it more dense, not as airy and fluffy that oud wood is, and uh, you'd get un cherche. I really, really like this one, actually. It smells excellent. I, I, would, I would totally rock this one, un cherche. I'm glad that one is a good one. And last but not least, we've got violet leaves and jasmine. So unfortunately, that one already sounds like it's not going to be my cup of tea, but I'm glad at least I found one that I really like, but let's just smell it because... Um, you never know. I mean, I've, I've been fooled before by, by names. So violet leaves and jasmine. All right, I can already smell it's got the violet. It's kind of a heavy violet. And again, there's this thickness to it. I can feel it when I have it, get it on my fingers. It's also, you can smell that thickness. It's, 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 it's kind of a fruity violet, actually, come to think of it. And also fresh, kind of has a... Um, what do you call it? Like grape leaves and grapes or something. I'm not sure if that's a note, but it kind of smells like, you know how grape leaves are used for cooking? It kind of has a kind of a grape leafy kind of a smell when you're picking them off the, off the bushes. There's something woody in here also, maybe perhaps ambery, but uh, I have to say these are all very thick and dense and intense fragrances. And so since I'm not wearing them, I'm not sure about the performance. But personally, I think these are going to last a long time. 
So I like this one. I don't hate it normally. I don't like jasmine and violet, but um, I like it. Again, most of these sort of seem slightly leaning feminine, but of course there's no such thing. These are all unisex fragrances. And my favorite is Un Cherche. I really like that one and I would totally rock it. It's really, really nice. Really uh, awesome scent it is. Well, that's it guys. This is Signature Fragrances London. Thanks so much for sticking around and watching my take on all these uh, fragrances. And uh, Signature Fragrances London did promise one of these uh, sample sets for one lucky subscriber of Looking, Feeling, Smelling Great in the USA. All you have to do is be a subscriber, put a comment down as to why you want to win the sample kit, like this video, and we'll do a random.org and we'll pick the person who, uh, that lands at the top. All right, guys, let me know what your thoughts are on Signature Fragrances London. Have you ever smelled these fragrances? Are they brand new to you? They'll have a link to the website. You can go check it out. And uh, just put comments down and let me know. Are you interested in trying these out? I think there are some great fragrances in here. And of course, Un Cherche, as I said, is my favorite. I really loved it. And I, I would totally probably get a bottle of it. It smells excellent. It's just finding it and uh, trying it out a little bit more with sprays before I make that decision. But so far with the first smell of it, it smells pretty darn awesome. So there you have it. All right, guys, good luck on the giveaway. Uh, like this video, please share it, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.